Yes, I left it in Louisiana, blowing in the wind, hiding in the quarter. Got to get back. There are a lot of artists who don't record who don't record exclusively songs they write. So they're looking for songs, and um, this this sort of tradition of of writers writing songs for singers who are great interpreters goes back. Well, it goes back forever, but, but it was very, very much the model during the Tin Pan Alley days in New York. Now Nashville is kind of the mecca for that, that sort of economy. They're not going to sign you without knowing you really well, and in the course of that getting to know you, you'll get to know them too. So any red flags will be raised during that time. You know, it's Chrysalis Music, who I'm with now, and I, we talked for a good 12 months before we decided to do a deal. Because they don't want to bring somebody in and then have to let them go in six months because it doesn't work out. You know, th this is a relationship that we hope lasts 20 years, now, 30 years. The artist side of that is completely different. So, you know, how it worked for me was I walked in to my producer with about 30 songs. I spent two or three days playing them, going over them with them, with the producer. <clears throat> I left. I came back two weeks later. He said, these... 15 songs are the songs I think work the best for your voice. I think these are the best written ones. And then we started sitting down talking about, you know, we're going to have backup singers, what, how, they, how they're going to be arranged, then we record it. Now, from an artist standpoint, you have to go do your own publishing. If you have a record label, a lot of times you get an outside publishing company to run your songs through or you do it yourself. Publishers are interested in money. That's why they're in business. And so they, are, they love to sign an artist. Because w with me, the songs aren't yet on a record. They got to go work and get the song on a record. But with a guy like Johnny, they're like, he's got a record deal. Let's give him a little money and share the publishing. And we don't have to do any work. They love to sign artists. Because it's, it's a little bit of a surer bet. The other part of the company that I work with is administration. They have people there who are, who are in charge of making sure that my copyright is registered properly, that my song is registered with BMI or ASCAP or CSAC, which are known as performance rights organizations. They monitor airplay and television usage of, of music. So you want to make sure that all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted with those kinds of companies, you know, so that your song, if it's out there, is making you the pennies that it can every day. Um, and then they have a legal department if you run into a, a, a situation, you know, so, so and we own the copyright together. So they do all this for me in exchange for what? I write the songs, and we share the ownership of the songs forever. And so, and that, and that behooves me because they have, a, they have a strong network of people to get the songs recorded, and they have a strong legal team, and they have a strong administration team. So I know that my money, my pennies, are going to be cared for in a way that I couldn't do myself. A writer writes. That's what a writer is. A writer is somebody who writes. And whether you are a songwriter or a playwriter or a film writer or a TV writer or a poetry writer or a novel writer, the craft is the same thing. And the hardest part is being, is putting your butt in a chair and sitting down and spending the quiet time searching your heart for the truth and putting that into the form that you work.